Hi there, YouTube. It is I, the one, the only Nadia Exotica. I feel so bad. I have to come to you uh, dressed down, okay, in my most basic form, but it's been like a crazy couple of days. I've been nonstop on go. I had my lips refilled yesterday, so if I look like I got decked in the mouth, that's why. <laughs> my fuck. Um, what else? I, yesterday I did so much running around everywhere. I need an oil change now. And then yesterday, or today I have to do more running around. I woke up hella early. Yesterday I woke up early, got my nails refilled. They look fantastic, actually. I had her do a design. Um, but I wanted to discuss something. By the way, I have like a whole fuck ton of things coming in, like coming up like really cool things to my youtube channel and i'm so excited and i just really hope that you you guys the viewers like them um some big things so i also have a coffee that i'm not able to drink with a straw i can't suck through a straw for five days but that's okay I also have to massage the fuck out of my lips. I have usually I bruise up. And this time I haven't. And I had her put a lot more filler. And I'm going back in two weeks for a little bit more. Um, I've never gotten this much filler before. But I'm really happy about it. And I'm going to get some more. <laughs> I'm like, it's, I went like a full year. So anyways. So I have like an idea well no it's not really an idea i've just been like really daydreaming as i normally do about uh, upping and leaving any sort of like adult anything because as you may have known i feel like i haven't been treated very well in this it's a it's a dog eat dog industry and i mean that can be said about a lot of different industries, you know, it's any sort of competitive field. But this one especially, I've developed some not so great habits, or at least at the beginning I did. I kind of have a grip on it now. Like, I lost 45 to 50 pounds. I can't remember. It's somewhere in that range. Um, when I first started because I was so insecure on webcam, people were calling me fat, like, you know at times not everybody um and I pride myself on not letting shit like that get to me but it did like I it really did so I lost that amount pretty quickly um and it's made me think a lot about self-image and up until like before camming I was not insecure I was not insecure about my looks the only time that I was ever like insecure was when I was in a relationship because it's like you obviously you want that person to have like eyes only for you and I'm honestly that's just not the case like I'm sorry but it's just not men are visual creatures they love uh, you know an array an assortment of different things <laughs> and whatever that's a whole other topic but I this has made me really not now I feel like because I'm on cam a lot less on cam in the beginning for the first year and a half, I was so insecure and that's why I lost a lot of that weight. Right. And the webcam platform, I've never really discussed this at length on my YouTube, but we got off on the wrong foot, my cam site and me. Uh, in the beginning, I didn't know I was doing something against the rules um, until I, it was like brought to me after a few times of me already doing it. So they kept warning me. And then at one point, I remember having my account banned and I was like so fucking distraught. And I told them like, I don't know what you think I'm doing, you know, yada, yada, yada. And they told me that what I was doing finally like they laid it all out and was like this is the time you did this this is the time you did that these are all against the rules thankfully they let me go back onto the platform without making another account I got my account restored and I never did that again but ever since that <clears throat> sorry occurrence 
they've not like they do not like me at all um and it's really upsetting and unfortunate that it's been that way and that's just camming uh, there's also escorting which i quit there's also a bunch of other stuff that kind of took off and had a nice like starting point and then kind of kind of fizzled out and it's just been such a journey but I will never struggle as many of you guys know this I always say that that I will never struggle because I won't I don't know that I'm not doing that but um it's made me think a lot about Imagine if I was able to become a professional gambler. <laughs> like, I've mentioned in the past that like, oh yeah, if I were to become addicted to anything, it would be gambling. But I know how to, like, I've never gambled more than a, like $200 at the casino. I've never gambled away more than that. Obviously, if I'm up, maybe. But like, of my own money, I've never ever, I have a threshold right and then obviously you keep yourself in check with the frequency of which you go I don't like to go too often but I have noticed there's like an influx of different people on TikTok and Instagram who will sit there and play slots in front of an audience and I'm like this is actually genius the only issue is is uh, they gamble away a fuck ton of money sometimes their bets are like ridiculous and I know, I happen to know actually that um, most of the professional gamblers, they'll like compete, you know, they'll do competitions, but it's mainly like, uh, it's table games. A lot of the time you see professional, professional gamblers, they're, they're only doing strictly table games. And then because they, uh, I guess earn or build up depending on the casino they can earn or build up uh free play on the slots and then of course <clears throat> they'll play the slots they'll, they'll obviously want to use the free play because it's free money essentially but like i if i got good at, at blackjack or fucking poker <laughs> or any other ones that they play i'm like that would be fantastic but because that's not a I mean, I, I could, I could definitely learn how to do it, but because it's not something that I'm able to do now, I just would love to frequent the damn casinos and look for some very generous men who, who will let me gamble away some of their money. Actually, um, I'm writing about this in my book, but there was a time I met a high, two high roller gamblers, um, at a casino and one of them was a very well-off restaurant owner and the other one looked like his friend looked practically like like he looked really grubby like when you saw him you wouldn't imagine that he was a professional gambler but this fucker was like gambling away a shit ton of money I think he went in with like I don't even want to say how much it's ridiculous and his bets were ridiculous. And I remember him joking with me saying like, yeah, my friend would, you know, he, he would totally give you money to gamble. And I feel I'm annoyed now <laughs> that I didn't take him up on that offer because he had buku bucks, let me tell you. And I'm like, if I could just get my weasel my way in to the high limit or to whoever. He wasn't even playing high limit slots. And the other thing is too, I don't know if he plays table games, but he was at a slot. And his friend too, his friend and I, like we just sat there talking for the longest. And I was um, just really taken aback that like friend looked nothing like someone you'd expect being like a high roller and he him too the guy I mean no the guy looked more put together the, but his friend his friend looked you know like he's 
I, I don't even know. Like he, he just looked different. <laughs> I'm like, but I'm not judging at all. Actually, as a matter of fact, it's probably a really good strategy to look like that. Cause then like, if you win something or whatever, you know, and you're leaving the casino, you probably look very, uh, inconspicuous. Is that the right word? Incognito. Inconspicuous. But. All in all. There were times where I would like flip money at the casino. I, and not wash money. Because I'm not doing anything illegal. But like. And I know a lot of people. There's a lot of people who go to casinos to wash money. But more so flip it. Like I would do X amount of. I probably shouldn't be admitting this. If there are any regulars on my, you know what, they don't, they really don't care. But if there are any regulars on my YouTube, I don't do this anymore. But this was like a long time ago. I would do X amount of private shows in a day. And let's say it was like 150. I'd go flip it at the casino. And hopefully with luck, I'd come out with like 400, 450. With luck. And I never start off betting high ever. You never do that. I mean, you can, but like maybe sheer dumb luck would have you you strike a bonus like in the first few bets but like I always start off low <laughs> low and slow and I like to take my time the one of the most recent times like it was like during during lunar new year I went to the casino with a friend and I got a hot chocolate and I was gambling and drinking the hot chocolate and for some reason the combination of the two were like it was fantastic and I remember walking away with some, some okay money that night, but I don't know, just, it's my own little daydream. I'm not, please don't take this too seriously. It would just be really fucking cool, but I just don't, I don't know at this point, honestly, I'm like, I just don't know where life's going to take me, but I know that it's not bad. I know it's not anything bad, but I just don't know what kind of direction to take imagine me in a tournament a televised poker tournament or blackjack tournament do they have blackjack tournaments i'm assuming so and you just see the name nadia exotica and it's like i'm just sitting there gambling i got my poker face on and i'm dressed all glamorous <laughs> like oh uh, yeah yeah that would be so cool a transgender professional gambler transgender webcam performer turned professional gambler if only man i would love it honestly and i love seeing different casinos i love it especially when they have events and stuff I don't know. It's just a thought. Okay. I'm not, please just don't take it, take it with a grain of salt. Don't take it at face value. Cause I know it's probably like not in the cards, but no pun intended, but I mean, fuck man. Some, at some point something has to give because I do feel like even though I am, I am like comfortable and stable and in my own place, that's like, it's just, <laughs> I want something that's just so much more different. The The industry, let's face it, has, is very oversaturated. And there obviously is, I said this in my webcamming video before, there obviously is an archetype of what sells. It's just the case. And I, I'm at this point, I don't feel, I don't take it personally anymore. I'm like, whatever. It's just how it is. But gambling gambling is non-discriminatory <laughs> but it also requires lady luck to be on your side doesn't it fortuna or taiki the goddess of fortune um but yeah i don't know imagine if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or video requests, feel free to email me. My email is NadiaExotica at gmail.com. Follow all my links at NadiaExotica.com. And also, don't forget to read my blog, which is NadiasCurioTrove.com slash blog. And until the next video, you will be hearing from me very soon.